let's look at a simple electrical conductivity experiment for a range of elements. In each case, you should note down the symbol for the element and whether it conducts electricity. First, here's our electrical circuit, and you can see we've got a power pack, some leads, a light bulb, and if we join the two contacts together, the bulb lights up. So for our first element, that's this bright yellow sulphur here, and let's see if that conducts electricity. So you can see if we place the contacts on the sulphur, the bulb does not light. Moving on to our second element, let's use some aluminium foil. If we place the electrodes on the aluminium foil, you can see that yes, it conducts electricity rather well. For our third element, we've got this sample of graphite. This is of course used in pencils for writing and we can write with our graphite there. If we put our electrodes onto the graphite, you can see that it too conducts electricity rather well. On to our next element, uh, which is a roll of magnesium ribbon. And if we put the electrical contacts onto the magnesium ribbon, yes, it conducts electricity again rather well. Our next element is some copper. This one is being molded into a copper can that we use in calorimetry experiments. So does the copper conduct electricity? And you can see it does conduct electricity again rather well. Next, let's look at a non-metal. This one, iodine. This one, sublimes. It's got a particularly pleasant element and you can see that there are crystals, big crystals of iodine, which have resublimed around the top and the rim of the iodine. Here, if we take a nice big crystal out there, we find one, we can get it, encourage it to come out. There's the iodine. And if we attach the contacts to that, you can see in this case, no, the iodine does not conduct electricity just bring the contacts together, yes, but with the iodine between them, no. So iodine does not conduct electricity, but it is a bright, shiny, grayish silver, some sort of purple solid. So that was iodine. Next, let's move on to some nails. These are iron, or mostly iron, and if we get them all to come together. We don't want any breaks in our circuit, but we might be able to. Yes, look, we just introduce the contacts into the nails there. Enough of them are making contact to touch and we get electrical conductivity for iron. Uh, next, here's another interesting metal. This is a, an electrode that from a Hoffman apparatus. And at the end here, we've got some foil that's out of platinum metal. So does platinum metal, of course, a very precious metal, does platinum conducts electricity. Well, you can see touching either side of the electrode or close by, yes indeed it does. Platinum conducts electricity rather well. Next, we have a rather interesting element. This one is a group one metal. This one is lithium metal and it's very reactive. It's stored under oil and we need to take it out of the container in the oil and have a look to see if it conducts electricity. So let's get the lithium out. It's rather soft, so I can put the knife into it here rather easily, just letting the oil excess oil drain off. Onto the white tile goes the lithium. Just need my tweezers to manipulate it a little bit. And you can see we've already cut a slice off here. So again, if we test our lithium with the electrical contacts, probably got some oil in the way there. Let's just uh, manipulate that a little bit more. A fresh sort of cut, fresh surface of the lithium on either side. Have to be careful, it's a very reactive metal. So there, let's try again. Here's lithium. 
and you might see uh, there, yes either side of the contacts there we can get the lithium to the light can we get it across the metal I presume not because of the uh, oil that's surrounding it if I can push the electrodes in yes look okay almost there uh, pushing the elect uh, cork it's there we've got contact lithium does indeed conduct electricity I'll have to clean the contacts up now that they've possibly contaminated with some lithium metal so there we are a range of elements some metals and non-metals which conducts electricity which did not uh, what are the symbols and we can move on to a further analysis of elements in the periodic table